Hi children, how are you? Wonderful morning to all of you. I think you are all safe at your homes. Today we are going to learn about lesson 2. The topic name is Knowing About Plants from 6th class New Science Textbook. Okay? So, already you have idea about plants have a different parts like root, stem, leaf and flowers. The learning outcomes from this lesson is pupils will be able to learn, identify the different parts such as a root, stem, leaf and flowers. And the, they can not only tell the parts of your plant, even they can tell the functions of the plants, plant parts also. And they can tell the different types of the root system. They can tell the differences between the tap root system and fibrates root system. And they, they able to draw labeled diagram showing parts of a leaves. And even they can make efforts to protect environment by taking care of plants. See, this girl, what this girl observing? This girl observing a one plant. Observing a. So, what kind of plants do you find at home, in your surroundings or in the park? So, how can we differentiate this one? For example, this is a rose plant, this is a bryophyllum plant, this is a uh, another flower, this is a brinjal plant. This is a, How can we differentiate and how can we tell the those plants? So, parts of a plant. We know that we have a different parts in our body. Tell me, what are the parts present in our body? We have a neck, head, neck, hands stomach and legs, trunk. So, all these parts present in our body. Similarly, plants are also have a different parts like us. Take for this example of a plant. So, the plant contains roots, stem and stem bears, fruits, flowers, leaves and branches also. These are all the parts present in the plant. So, in this chapter, let us try to understand about the different plant parts of a plant through some of the activities and divide the class into groups and each group will collect 5 to 6 different types of plants and uh, along with their roots also because here we are going to learn about the different types of root system also. So, but do not pluck more plants. That means do not remove more plants from the soil. So, identification of the plant parts. So, now I will show one video and observe that video and write down the points also. See, here the first plant is the first one. See this one? Tridax plant. First one is a Tridax plants. Commonly we can known as a locally known it is a Gaddi Chamanti. Does it contain roots or not? See the video and observe and read. Yes. And stem. Does it contain stem? Yes, it contains stem. Does it contain leaves? Yes, it contains leaves. And does it contain flower? Yes, it also contain leaves. The next one is a tamarind tree. So tamarind we can locally call it as a Chintapandu. It has a sore taste. And root. Does it have a root? Yes. Does it have a stem? Mm, does it have a leaves? Yes. But in this video, I took very little or small tamarind tree. But the tamarind plant. But this plant did not contain flowers. Generally, tamarind plant uh, trees contains flowers. So, the next one is a bryophyllum. So, bryophyllum. In Telugu, we can call it as a Ranapala. It can reproduce with their leaves also. So, does it contain roots? Yes. Does it contain stem? Yes, it has a. Does it contain leaves? Yes, it contain leaves. Does it contain flowers? Flowers. It does not have a flowers, but generally they have a flowers. It is a small plant because. And here I took two different types of grass plants. One. So, that's why I wrote like this. Grass plant one grass plant two, one and two. so does it contain roots yes it contain roots does it contain stem yes it contains stem does it contain leaves yes it contain leaves does it contain flowers 
so after that it will give flowers and grass plant 5 2 so it is a different type that means the leaves are different from both plants so 2 anyway i don't know the exact name of this grass plant so that's why i gave grass plant 1 and grass plant 2 does it contain roots yes does it contain stem yes does it contain leaves yes does it can give flowers yes it will give flowers so do you find any plant which does not have a roots see i took here some of the plants because all the plants contains roots see observe so all the plants contain roots and are the leaves of all the plants are similar in size no because tridax leaves are different from tamarind leaf tamarind plant and tamarind plant has a different leaves from the bryophyllum and grass leaves are different from these plants so there are no similarity in the plants okay and is there any plant without flowers no each and every plant has a flowers because in this video i did not uh, take uh, some of the plants did not have a flowers actually they whenever they grown and uh, up to some extent they will give flowers to that plants okay so what are the common parts that you observe in all plants see the table and answer the questions so all the plants contain roots and all the plants contain stem and all the plant plants contain leaves and all the plants contain flowers also so what are the common parts okay so there are variations in size and shape of the plant but generally all the plants have a root stem leaf and flowers have you ever thought about the importance of the root stem leaf and flowers in a plants that means in in this lesson we will go to learn about the functions of and importance of the root and what is the importance of root and what is the stem importance of stem and what is the functions of the stem and what is the importance of leaf and how it will be useful for the plants and what are the flower and how flowers will be useful for the plants so all these things we should learn in this lesson and what is the role of different parts of the plant and let us try to understand things the first one is a root so okay root I will show one video, observe this video and see these points. What is root? The underground part of a main axis of a plant is known as root. What is root? The underground of a part. That means which always present the underground of the main axis. This one is a main axis. So, you can call it as a simply it is a stem. So, it is a stem. So, stem is a main axis. So, the underground part of the main axis is will be called as a root. Root. So, the main underground part of the main axis of a plant is known as root. There are two types of root systems in the plants. The first one is tap root system and the second one is a fibrous root system. And in the previous video, we observed some plants and their root system. And the tridax, tamarind, bryophyllum, they have a same root system that is tap root system. And grass plant 1 and grass plant 2 as a, they have a fibrous root system. So now let us clearly understand the what is tap root system and how they will be look like. And, and what is fibrous root system and how it will be look like. So compare the these root systems of the sample figure given in your textbook 2 and 3. And see this table and see these figures. And can clearly understand what is fibrous root system and what is tap root system. See, this is a tap root system. So, tap root system has a thick and uh, actually tap root system has a main root. See, this one is a main root. So, this one will be called as a main root. So, main root will be grow into the soil and they can grow longitudinally. And uh, the smaller parts of the roots will be arises from the main root. So, these roots will be called as a rootlets. The roots, the small roots arises from the, the small roots arises from the uh, main root will be called as a rootlets. And the main root is longer than the rootlets. The main root is, root is thicker and it has a strong and it has a long one compared to 
other lateral routes. So lateral routes are thin compared to the main route. You can simply say that the, the diameter of the main route is larger than the rootlets because it is a main route. And these are all the rootlets. So these will be called this type of root system will be called as a tap root system. And see the fibrous root system. So fibrous root system that means the small see this one the small hair like projections arising from the main axis of the plant. So it will be grown into the underground. It will be grown into the stem. But uh, these type of roots are known as a fibrous roots. So here all the roots are similar and there is no main root. That means the roots arising, arising from the main axis they will be grown uniformly. They have a, That means they have a similar height. See all the height of the all the roots of the height is, will be equal. But my tap root system is not like that. They have it has a one main root, it will be longer than the other roots. These, root, these roots will be called as a rootlets. Rootlets are very thin and small compared to main root. So this is the types of tap root system and fibrous root system. Now let us understand the plants. See, tridex plants. What type of root system it has? It has a tap root system. Tridex plant has a tap root system. And uh, next one is a tamarind plant. So tamarind plant has a tap root system. The next one is a bryo. Pillum. So bryo pillum also has a tap root system. And next one is a, I took another grass plant one. So it has a fibrous root system. And I took here one more plant that is a califa or we can call it as a muripinda. Okay. So it is also called fibrous, sorry, tap root system. And I took here another grass plant, one grass plant two system. So in the tap root system, how does the middle root look like? It has a thick and longer one compared to the thin rootlets. And compare this middle root with the remaining roots in the tap root system. So the remaining middle root is longer than the thin root, thin rootlets. And it has a thick structure, but remaining rootlets are thin roots. Do you find any such main root of fibrous root system? No, fibrous root system does not contain any main root in the like tap root system. Generally, the fibrous roots, uh, which plants contains fibrous root system, the plants look like a grass plants. But the remaining, see in this video, in this uh, pig table, the tridex plants, tamarind plants, bryophyllum plants, all these plants have a taproot system. So that's why they ask question like that. See, here the given description of this. In some plants, the main root becomes thick and has a thin rootlets. This main root is called known as a taproot. The main root will be called as a taproot and the rootlets are all called lateral roots. See, in this video. So this main root will be called as a this main root will be called as a tap root. This root will be called as a. So the rootlets of this plant will be called as a lateral root. See, so this one, this one are called as a lateral root. The rootlets of the main root will be called as a lateral roots. Then in some plants, small hair like roots arising from the base of the stem. See, small hair like a base of the gum. So this type of roots are known as fibrous roots. Here our roots are small, similar and there is no main root. So you can write the differences between the, here like this, differences between the tap root system and fibrous root system. So this from here to here, here it will be about tap root system from here to here about fibrous root system you can write like that also 
then thank you for watching this video please like my video share my videos to your friends and subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon thank you